Hi everyone, Michelle Chua here and Luke, Mr. Luke. <laughs> Have you ever overcome a challenge that um, because you love something or someone so much more than the obstacle that you perceived on the path? Maybe it was leaving an unhealthy relationship, transitioning to a new career, or starting a new healthier habit. If your why is strong enough, you can do anything. Back in 2008, 2009, I found myself struggling living abroad as a volunteer school teacher. Uh, I was confronting culture shock as well as adapting to living alone as a volunteer in a small village in Ghana and then later in Costa Rica. I felt very isolated and stripped of a lot of my comfort and conveniences that I take for that I had taken for granted, like running hot water, and was way out of my comfort zone in many ways. So I sought refuge in my yoga practice. And over time it became a daily rhythm of waking up and going straight to my yoga practice. A why was amplified in me that drove me to do this and it was to expand my perspective and feel at home in my body so that I could offer the best that I could to this community that I came to serve. Over months, my daily morning yoga practice became imperative for my own physical, emotional, mental well-being. And it even sprouted a lot of insight. I started to recognize my own inner talk that had been perpetuating fears and resisting change and cultivating self-doubt. And so through this awareness that I got from my yoga practice, I was able to shift some of my mental habits and talk to myself with a kinder and more loving tone. And this spilled out into my physical yoga and to my running, which I also love to do quite frequently. And it turned into compassion, which my body responded with, with strength and more resilience. This also permeated into how I related not only to myself, but to the new people that I encountered, uh, the environment, that I was in was colored with much more appreciation and much more joy. In fact, this time abroad ultimately became one of the most rewarding experiences in my life. It's actually also the time that I realized that I wanted to teach yoga. I wanted to share how transformative and enriching the tools of yoga can be. Fast forward now to 2021 I still go to my morning yoga ritual to see through the mental patterns that might inhibit me, to feel healthy in my body, and to better connect with the world aligned to my heart. Going to my practice each morning strengthens my willpower and clarity to do so. I truly believe that if everybody had a morning ritual in which they mindfully connected to their bodies, used their breath skillfully to rebalance their energy, and meditated, sat with an intimate, loving meeting with their inner being, that there would be much more joy and vibrancy and consciousness circulating in this world. So that's what inspired me to design Morning 21, an online offering that I'd like to invite you to if you feel curious about getting started with your own morning yoga ritual. If you're not that informed about what yoga can do for you besides what it did for me, you can hop onto a blog post that I wrote, 21 Benefits of Daily Yoga. The link is below. If you're curious in starting your own morning yoga ritual. I've designed morning 21 to be as feasible as possible. 
21 days of 21 minutes a day of pre-recorded sessions where you can access each recording at the time that you wake up from wherever you are. And each recording includes a variety of yoga postures, breathing techniques, and ways to approach med meditation, progressing you into developing a habit of meditation. So, so we start with a short time frame and increase throughout the three weeks. So that by the end of 21 days, my intention is for you to feel fully equipped and to have already felt enough fruitfulness to continue your own independent morning yoga ritual. So if you feel like this might resonate with you, if you're curious to learn more, click the link below. It's rootterizeyoga.org slash morning hyphen 21. And I would love to support you in your self-empowerment each morning.